Hey, it's uh, Chris here today from Huckle Owns Equipment. Uh, in today's video, we got a comparison video. One that's been asked for dozens and dozens of times in the comments section. We have the E68 Norman, and we're comparing it up against the K64 Hybrid. So in today's video, we're gonna do a comparison talking about the two, and then we're actually gonna take them out and demo the two of them, so you can see them head to head, which one performs better. Um, so why do we pick these two blowers? Uh, well, it's two companies that we sell, um, two very popular companies. Norman is one that I kind of preach a lot. They are a blower company. That's what they manufacture, that's what they do. They have two lines, uh, basically they have the E model, which is your homeowner's kind of idea, and then they have an N model, which deals with your commercial end. So in today, it's the E model. It's designed for the LX lineup kind of idea. You know, they've taken the Kubotas and, and they sell them behind any tractor. So, you know, they compare them up against any, any horsepower range in that 25 to 45, what works sizing wise and what works uh, behind these tractors. So, and then we have on the flip side, we have the Kubota. Again, Kubota does lots of different things. This blower is designed by Rad for the Canadian market. So you won't go down the States and find this. This is only up in Canada. The ones down the, the uh, hybrids you'll see down the States are made by Land Pride uh, for Kubota. Here we have Rad makes them for Kubota Canada. Again, Rad makes a multitude of different blowers for a multitude of different companies. Again, you won't see this invert, uh, this hybrid blower behind any other tractor. Uh, Kubota, you know, sent them a couple of LXs, said design us a hybrid blower for behind it, and this is what they came up with. So that's why you see a little bit different of a width. So 64 to 68 works behind a lot more different size of tractors, where 64 is virtually specific for, uh, you know, your BO1s up to your LO2s, and then made primarily for your LX lineup, especially with this cab. So, so that's why they kind of chose these sizes. And now let's compare some numbers and see which one comes out on top here. So yeah, so whenever you start at the top of these blowers, you'll see right off the bat, height difference. Um, as mentioned, as I talked about before, uh, you know, whenever you're trying to fire things out as far as they'll go, the longer you can have it, like kind of like a rifling in a barrel, uh, you know, whenever you want to fire a distance, you're gonna have a longer barrel. Same idea with one of these. Inches do matter. And again, whenever you start seeing the shoot, you'll see severely reinforced, like lots of reinforcement there. Uh, it has hydraulic deflector, no hydraulic deflector. No, this is just all standard equipment. All you're seeing difference is the cylinder there. Nothing else, nothing else gets added here. Nice, strong, very durable. Uh, and then as you move a little bit further down, you'll see, well, there is a substantial size difference in the bottom of these for whenever you're rotating them. Again, it just, it just helps. It makes life easy, it makes life more durable. It just, it just adds to the unit itself. And then the chute size itself, you've got uh, an eight inch opening here to a nine inch. Uh, so again, it can feed out more um, for every, uh, you know, every snowfall. It's gonna be firing more out like they're coming in with the fan. And then we move a little bit further down. These clips, two to three, doesn't really matter a whole lot on that. You're just looking to keep that closed and easy to open. What you will find out is Norman started with these. They're plastic, they spin off. What does plastic do whenever it's minus 20 out and has been in the cold all night? They break. That's why you'll see a little bit more of a change here. It's probably more expensive to do it this way, but Norman switched everything that way to a little bit more complex uh, than just spinning them on and off. Uh, you don't have to have anything to worry about. There's nothing gonna break there. It's still gonna open really easily, uh, whether it's plus 10 out or minus 30. One thing that Kubota's probably gonna learn over time is they're gonna need to switch to that, but Norman already has. In behind there, what you're gonna see is the fan. You're gonna have same size fan, 24 inch to 24 inch, no differences there. What you will see is a little bit of a difference in the depth of the fan, seven inch to eight inch. So again, what you're feeding in is more snow uh, at a time and able to fire it out that much quicker. They are both four blade fans, so no real difference there. Whenever we get out to the sides here, uh, you'll see the depth of it. So on this side, uh, the Kubota one, uh, you're roughly 26 inches to 34. Uh, and then what is holding onto these sides? The auger. Uh, whenever you get into the auger, uh, not a whole lot of difference there. They're both 15 inch. This one's a little bit more like circular, like an extra depth of serrating kind of idea on it. Doesn't really make a whole lot of difference there. They're both gonna be feeding in relatively to the same amount of snow. But if you move a little bit farther down, you're gonna see a full skid shoe, right from the back to the front, and really only about a three quarter on that. Really gonna help on your flotation whenever you're going over, and it just, it just matters at the end of the day. As you move around it and through it, you're gonna see a lot more bracing and everything on the Norman. 
a little bit easier to, to work with. You'll even see like adjustments on the auger if you want to bring it up and down where it's completely bolted on there. Nothing's really going to change. You're probably never going to touch that, but it is there if need be. Or maybe you want to even just, you bend the auger and you need to take it out. It's going to be quicker on this one. You'll see even whenever you go to attach it, you'll see two holes, two holes at the top. You'll see three holes and one hole. Uh, again, couldn't understand that one, but that's just the way it is. Easy to adjust. And that, again, the reason you're going to have a few is going to be adjusted for different tractors, different heights there. Uh, well, this was designed with the LX in mind. Um, so that's probably why you uh, have lots of selections up top, uh, on the bottom, but not up top. As you can see, I threw a lot of numbers at you. Um, again, whenever you get down to it, 68 inches wide and 698 pounds, 64 and 700 pounds. So they're both going to cut in. They're both going to do a great job that way. Uh, now we're going to go out and compare them. Because again, lots of numbers, I can tell you everything, but let's actually go out and see which one's going to work better for you. So uh, let's take the two. And we do have even tractors here. We have the LX3310 and we have the B3350. So uh, very comparable tractors that way. Uh, so let's, let's jump out and get this done. All right, so that brings us to the end of today's video. Uh, you know, as always, great to bring that to you. A couple of flaws for today's video shoot. Not a whole lot of snow to work with. It's a very dull day, so you can't get a full idea of what's, how, how these are performing. Uh, these snow blowers, all hybrids, love eating through snow. They love snow. Uh, whenever you're only dealing with five, 10 centimeters here, uh, it takes a lot of buildup underneath there for it finally is actually firing it out there. Uh, so that's a little bit of a downside today. Um, as you see, whenever we speak about downsides, you'll see uh, the Normand here, quite a bit of buildup here. Um, again, that's only a very short run. You can imagine if we were doing a lot of it, what we'd be running into. A little bit here, quite a bit over here. And that is because without that extra lever here, there is actually a little bit of a hole there where it's blowing out. So you can imagine a full day of snow blowing, what that would look like. Kind of a downside, whereas uh, the Kubota is all nice and clean. Reviewing what we shot today, uh, you'll see that the Normandy is performing better. It is throwing it up higher, further, and actually collecting more in a single pass with two equivalent tractors. So uh, Norman's a little bit more better for your bang for your buck. And as and if you want to improve upon the Normand, this is the Econor line, the homeowner's one. They do make an N60 that will work behind an LX. So that gets you up to the full commercial grade one uh, that will perform even better. So. At the end of the day, lots of fun to bring that to you. Norman did perform better than the Kubota. Both great blowers. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Thank you.